Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Below the Stone, a mining action roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Let's pop on in and see what it's all about. I feel like I'm I'm feeling uh, empty slot three today. Uh, we got a little bit of a character customization thing going. Here, let me uh, make a character. Tis I. This is, uh, yeah, I'm sure that's what I look like. Overalls and all. Are you ready to go below the stone and make a name for yourself? Sure. Hello. Ah, yes, we've made it. Welcome to the old halls of the Dwarven Kingdom. This area is usually off limits to rookies like you, but I have a mission for you to do. I plan on sending you to the cave, but we have a blacksmith to save. That clown of a blacksmith has gone missing, and he was last seen around here. We've also seen the signs of kobolds lurking about. So listen up, Greenbeard. My first command to you as head explorer is to help me find the blacksmith down here. Without the blacksmith, we won't be able to craft any of our tools and armor we'll need for the other recruit cave divers. Oh, speaking of tools, you'll be needing a good weapon in case there are any of those stinking rock-chewing kobolds down there. Like the you, I bought an extra soup ladle. That ought to do for a greenie like you. Even then, if you lose my soup ladle, we'll just send another one of you little recruits down there to find it. Won't be that easy when we send you below the stone for the first time, though. Good luck finding him. I'll just wait here and be finishing up my savory soup. Well, all right. Right on in it. Oop. Okay. Inspect. As you discovered, you can interact with some things by clicking on them. Try it on the NPC. Also, some objects can be destroyed with a melee weapon. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha. You can also dig through most of the walls, but you can only do that with a pickaxe equipped. Find one and dig through this wall to see where it leads. All right. <laughs> I do like this part of the game already, though. I mean, what am I, what am I wanting out of these? But I, I don't know. But I do feel like I want it. Various objects could be interacted with by mousing over them, and clicking. Others can be hit or broken if you have a pickaxe or another melee weapon. Can we break this? No, sir. There is our pickaxe. Can we break this stuff? If we're ambitious enough? Nope. I mean, we are going to need a, uh, a better pickaxe than this. That is for sure. This will simply not do. Do I need to... I mean, so we do... Th Three with the soup ladle. Two with the pickaxe. Okay, I was just I was just checking if it was like the soup ladle is uh, just truly for emergencies or what. Alright, what do we got? I, I don't even fully know. Is it stone? Perhaps rock? <laughs> the sound of breaking the crates is so much louder than all the other sound effects that it makes it hard to... <laughs> Balance this man. Alright, we got a whole bunch of there, we got the key. Uh hello there. Bye. Hey, oh uh, Back up, you stinking vile creature! Don't come any closer! I don't let Kobos touch my beard. Oh, is that a fellow dwarf? Sorry, my visor has given me some heightened smell over the years, and I guess by your smell you've already dealt with them. That means I'm free to have my dignity back. <laughs> get it, dig. Get out of here. Why are you staring at me that way? Are ye hot digging these puns? Not digging these puns. The font. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you, my bearded brethren. I used to be a blacksmith. I mean, I am the blacksmith, and I'll happy. I'll be happy to serve your smithing needs. I could smell some fresh ores past all the stink on you. So let's make a deal. Since you saved me here, I can craft you some nice new tools and armor in return. Deal? All right, let's head out of this place then. Lead the way, nerd. Whoop. Am I supposed to... Oh, can I get this? Nope. Because that is clearly diggable. I saved them. 
If you hear that loud, low-budget comedian punning from all the way over here. Sorry you had to deal with that, rookie. Just head towards the gate while I finish my soup. All right. So you made it back in one piece. I'm surprised. The other miners were starting to take bets on whether you'd actually make it back on your first mission. But they didn't know I gave you an easy one. From here on out, we'll be sending you on real missions that lie waiting below the stone, a place where many dwarves like yourself lost their lives building what our dwarven economy survives on today. Twisting, turning caves with unlimited riches, unseen ruins, and treasures waiting to plunder. And if you don't make it back, trust me, no dwarf is ever going to see the stuff you brought with you again. We have a lot of important folks worth meeting around here in Dwarven Fortress of Sorts, and as a rookie, you should make a priority to speak with each one of them before we send you into the caves. Dang, dude, really? Before I forget, the blacksmith told me he wanted to give you something. You should be across the way. Oh, fuck out. I can't, like, dash or anything, for what's worth. At least not yet. Hey, I was expecting you. What do you have for me today? If anything, you have it? Well, do you? Maybe not. Anyway, let me see what you have. Looks like this is the first time at the forge. Let me show you how it's done. This here is the forge's manual. And on the left, you can see it's sorted into neat old categories. Across the top here, you can filter the list by the crafting materials. Or more importantly, you can hide all the junk you can't craft yet. How about we get you started with some torches? Take this piece of coal and some wood. It's not smart to mine without a light, you know. I mean, it's right. <laughs> you want me to make all of them? I'll make a crossbow, too. All right. Off I go, then. Boink. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. The dang dong blurry bob moving all ran over there. Come a bit closer so I can see you. You're... That's right. Closer. Uh, fresh new dwarven explorer. I hadn't seen one of you. Dang explorers come back from the dark mines in a while. Oh, you're going into the caves, my condolences. I'm the foreman around here, been so for 96 years, you're- That's right. Well, let me tell you, in all my darn years at the gate, not a single dang dwarf was ever left without a proper list of work to do, and that's not about to change with you either. You're- Here's how to do it around here. Pick some missions from, from me, and we'll allow you to go below the stone and collect whatever you might need for yourself. However, we won't be wasting a darn drill pod or any other help to go rescue your hairy behind unless you complete at least one of the missions that we need done here. Yort, yort. Cost us a dang darn dwarven fortune to rescue you guys from down there, yort. So be carefully and think twice or thrice before getting down below. Might be the decision that keeps you living until you're my age, yort. Everything else clear? That's a yort from you, little blurry blob. Go ahead and pick something nice for yourself from the mission list. An old man only has so much dang darn time to wait. I mean, only one? Ten medium green slimes. Nine small. Go big. And or go home. You know what? Let's do like, uh, when to, can we have... Okay, we can only have three. We'll do the, uh, the big and then we'll go for some, some actual mining. Like a little bit of a mix. How did I get up here? How did I get up there? Oh well, down we go with a full freaking inventory. All right. Hello. Just one more swing. Cross show this young one still got it. Never seen your face around here. You one of the new recruits or something? Explore around, see what you find. Remember, you can't leave the caves unless you complete at least one of your missions. Well, you're that dwarf who saved the blacksmith, right? My little brother. Shame. Getting caught by some kobolds, and he needed some newbie to save his beard from being scalped. Probably hit you with, uh, you digging these puns. Just pun, too, didn't he? Guy just swings a hammer all day. Never picked up once. Never picked up a pick once. Get it? Picked up a pick? I thought it was funny. I guess I picked the wrong dwarf to joke around with. You hadn't even said anything yet. I get it now. You must be admiring a master miner at work. Must be pretty special for you new guys. Since you're new to all this, come around when you're looking for some of my sagely advice. Oh, we needed to craft arrows? Well, boy, oh boy. How do we, uh, okay. Do I have to hold the torch? Okay, so we can right click to pop it on a wall. Can we mine anywhere? Sure looks like we can. We got a little bit of a shiny shiny. 
sure looks like some coal. Sure is some coal. We can already call the... I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Bye-bye. On top of it, it looks like we might have tin right here. Hmm. Or like iron or something that I can't get yet. Anything in there that I can get doesn't seem it. Got some water. Am I gonna drown or something? Seems pretty easy to get coal, actually. What an easy objective that one is. So I'm assuming that these sparkles mean something. Ooh, this could be it. Got some, uh, got some praise helix. I mean, we might as well just keep on going in on the, on the shinies here. If it points me directly in a, if that's what it's doing, there's a chance that that's not actually how that's working, you know? Okay. we got here. I mean, so far, we're not finding anything we got to... Do we need a better pickaxe? Feels like they, if that's the case, they shouldn't send us to uh, a place where we can't get one of the emissions, you know? I mean, it's not wrong. There is materials here with that shininess. Go to the journal. I mean... Surely... Okay, it looks like this connects to a bigger open area if we keep on going to the left. I want to at least try and get the uh, the slimes killed, right? We don't need to do effective strip mining or anything like that right now. We're in here on a pure mission to find monsters right now. Can we like... Uh... Cool, we can just put one on the ground. I mean, we can get all that. No monsters? Okay. We got a, a small green slime. I can only assume that one is. Linen cloth. Cloth. We got the enemies. Nothing to really worry about there. Wait. Can I, uh... Set you on fire? Just three damage. It does the same amount as the ladle. The torch is just as good. Ow. Okay, his movement pattern is... Very wobbly. Okay, and then he splits into slimes. I mean, he is a slime. What do you expect, right? Sir? Sir? But yeah, if the um, whew, the torch does the same as the ladle, then we really might as well use the torch. Get a little bit of extra light. I feel a little bad. This bat ain't doing anything to really mess my day up. Hmm. There we go. We got some tin. Good. We've nearly got oh, everything we need. I feel like let's just get this uh, this little section. It seems like coal is so easy to find, right? Like, let's just go looking for the uh, the slimes at this point. Lest the slimes look for ow, look for us. What if mushrooms heal? Can be eaten. Minor flask. Use an alchemy. Yep. I don't know if it's like a Minecraft style thing where it's just like we're going to heal up more over time or something. Ooh, we got a skeleton. I'll say that, yeah, the, uh, just the simple fact that Ah, the, uh, the slimes have a very weird wiggly pattern. Makes them way tougher than a normal game that has this kind of style. 
of uh, of combat, which is sort of just like, you know, just simple positional. I've not killed a single medium slime. Those are small slimes? That's a big slime. Oh no. That's even weirder for us. Okay. Good. Back it up. Back it up. Get pooped on. All right, we'll grab a little bit of that. Hey, I see you. I see you. I like how he just goes right back to sleep. That's dedication. Oh my word. Okay. Seems like this should be the guy I... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Focus on. And I'm right. I'm right. He is a jerk. He is a jerk. Ow. Okay, we got found like a mushroom man. I feel like the ladle might have a bigger radius, though. It might do the same damage, but just have a bigger radius. Okay. Uh, why did it fire an arrow while I was moving something in my inventory like that? That's goofy. Ow. Sir, I'm hurt. Glowing complexion for- yeah, that- that's not good. I think we should probably leave, I guess, at this point. Should. Should and will is... not the same thing. We'll just play it safe, right? These don't give too much. Got a weird little uh, seed man who went me meow. You can heal or something? What? He's glowing. Get out of my face. I'm sorry. Sweet little potato man. Okay. Thank you. Still no medium slimes. Yeah, I think the, the radius on this is is bigger. That's the reason to use it. Or not? No. It's the same. It's just a different color. <laughs> that, that feels awkward and I don't like it. Dwarven Stout. Move that up. Like the fact that we, whenever we're moving something in that way, I mean, we could probably just like right click or whatever. Yeah. Alright, come on. Medium slime, not big slime. I guess back to the freaking torch then. I'm sure we'll get like a sword or something soon and then this won't be the thing to use, but... If they do the same damage and they have the same swing radius, we should use the one that at least is going to uh, light up the area. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, I don't know your deal. Do you take a... Extra damage from fire? That'd be fun. You gonna charge at me? Smack him? Alright. Cool. No, oh, we got another one. So I do like that they have that little tiny flash they do to let you know that they're about to start charging up. Call the escape pod at any time, but for the love of God, I want one just right size. Ooh, what's that? Get some bronze or something? My money's on. I can't even. Oh, I can mine it. Cool. Copper.
Where's your father? Well, actually, where's your older brother? Not your father. Don't show me your father. I'm not interested. I think I might just call... Call it under the assumption that, like, maybe... Maybe he's not in the demo? Or maybe we're just really that unlucky. Sir. We found a little something, like some kind of a setup. Yeah, the hitbox for the uh, the bat is actually not where the bat is. The hitbox for the bat is under the bat, which makes some sense, but it's also kind of awkward to, to move around. Oh, we got kobolds. He's got a frying pan. But I don't get one. Oh. Copper shoulders. Well, alrighty then. Yep, we found the crates that are 16 times louder than any other sound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Come here. Uh, I, I got caught on the arrow? What the hell? The arrow on the ground has a hitbox. Look at that. I can't get in because of the arrow. That's wacky. It's kind of interesting, though, because you could, like... I don't know. Since you can hit it. Oh, it's not an arrow. It's javelin. Uh-oh. Kite in a circle. Good. That worked out well. We could, like... Dig a little path here if that helps us. But I think that bottlenecking them will probably be in our best interest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. There's so many of them. We got this. Kind of just want to avoid these mushroom men for now. They don't even seem... Particularly bad. I got one of their heads. Keep staring at you. I want. I wanted to put it on. All right, we have a lot of chests to open up. The hell even is that that I just got? Platinum ore. Sounds impressive. Resistance 4. It's more than the mining helmet, interestingly. Some ham! Zoop. I wish, for the love of God, like, it's such a minor thing. I wish that the torch did two damage, because it would actually just... It would make all of this uh, decision-making a lot easier. <laughs> Because <laughs> I feel like there's no point to even have the ladle. Get back here, you. It's just, uh, the ladle's there in case you run out of um, torches, right? Like, that's kind of the thing. Same thing, that's what I thought. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I got stun locked. I got stun locked there. That ain't good. Don't even really need the torches. Is it gonna heal me? Cooked ham? Certainly cooked ham. I mean, these guys are brutal up here. Just that little clump. After we clear this out and... Ow. Get whatever goodies are here. I think we call it, because I have found zero. I'm, I'm probably dead. I think, I, I think I'm dead. What? The loud? 
Um, annoyingly, I don't know if we can get through the wall here. Yeah. Okay. Eat all the little bits. The tiny ones can have stuff. Ignore that sweet man. He's doing nothing wrong. We'll just eat up all the food on our way out over there. Glowing complexion for two minutes. It's nice that it does that. Nice that we got something to grab easily. Alright, but we needed to uh, get out here in order to... <laughs> Stop it! You can't just click through. One sec. Um, let's dig around them. It's gonna take ever so slightly longer. The place they called it down was, it was so close to me, but is on the other... What? What happened? What is that? Uh, I'm gonna have to watch that back because what the hell? Yeah, you scared me. You must be that new hotshot. I'm, I'm again. Uh, the finest trader and goblin in the kingdom. If anyone says otherwise, they're lying. Tons of unique items come through my shop every day. So if you see something nice, you might not see it the next time you're here. Be sure to grab anything that catches your eye. But don't forget to pay, of course. Uh, or my prices might just double. Anyway, have a look around. Well, cool. Damage three. I mean, that would mean just, like, keep out the pickaxe forever. I guess I don't have any materials to make... Uh, oh, wait, there's a sword here. So I just start with a rusty sword or something there? All right. What's your deal? I've almost mistaken you for the Astro Fungi and made a potion out of you. Ah, welcome, little one. I'm the alchemist by profession, and I'm able to prepare you for pretty much anything you wish for, as long as you provide the ingredients. Got nothing. Uh... What is your deal? Hey, can't you see I'm doing important banking work? What do you need? Huh. Wait a minute. You're one of those new recruits, aren't you? Well, let me tell you something. You new recruits need to be sure to store things here. Otherwise, we'll have, you'll have lost everything you've acquired. Let me show you the vault. I'm sure you'll get the hang of things by stepping inside. Cool. Gotcha. I would have things if something didn't randomly explode in my face in a way that the game did not prepare me for in any way, shape, or form. That was very strange. Um, I definitely saw bats, and I definitely saw slimes. Did not see medium slimes. Those are the ones I couldn't find. But I also never saw cor corbamite or prismium. Mm. Well, in case I find it, I'll accept it. Let's go in. I'll tell you what, if I blow up again and lose everything randomly, like, I get roguelike, but that doesn't mean... I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see. Ooh! What the hell? They start me off in a wacky spot. Okay, the sword does swipe faster, feels like. I... My gut tells me that... Step- Ow. He pushed me towards him. My gut would tell me that stepping on this would hurt me, but apparently it does not. Ow. Alright. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, just like- I just got here, man. Okay. The archers are really annoying in this so far. I also wish I could just, like, right-click this. 
and use it straight from the inventory instead of having to switch to it switch back. I think that'd be convenient. Like they're they're at the ready too fast when you pop around the corner. Like you, you know what I'm saying? They they shoot too quickly. So you can't, like, you should be able to sneak and get one shot on them before they get the shot on you when you do that. I, that's my opinion on that one at the very least. Need a bunch of them. Ooh. Sad. See, here's the thing. Can I even collect Prismium or whatever that is? You know? Is that even a thing that I'm going to be able to get when it shows up? Not sure. Can I craft something better while I'm down here? <gasps> Silver axe damage. Ooh. I'm already I'm already sad that I'm going to lose it. To a random <laughs> explosion. What? Some throwing axes. Very neat. What? It starts rumbling way too late. Whatever that feature is, is not good. I, I do have to say. It's... I don't like it. I do not like that at all. <laughs> like... I'm sure it'll get changed. I, like it's so, it's so obviously bad that I'm sure it's going to get changed. Like, I think that... There, if there was a way to have it be notified that the place is going to blow up, like, a little bit sooner or a little bit more obviously, because it's supposed to be, like, a chill mining experience that... And then, like, the stressful part is the combat is kind of how my idea of how this, you know, probably is wanting to go for many people, but we'll see. I'm, I, I'm confident that will be changed because of how obviously strange it is. It just takes a, it takes a lot of the zen out of the relaxing part. On top of the fact that it's just like it's could just randomly kill you when you have some really good stuff. Like all deaths in a rogue like you should be able to see coming and do something about, right? In some fashion. I know that some people don't feel that way, but there's there's RNG screwing you over, and then there's... Wow, I actually did find this stuff. I would not have anticipated this would be the thing I'd be more likely to complete. But there's... Yeah, there's like, oh, RNG, I drew the wrong card, and then there's like... I guess I shouldn't mine anymore because if I randomly move into an exploding space, there's not a quick enough heads up that I, and I'll just die. So the sparkles do seem to generally indicate where stuff is. Doesn't indicate that it's going to be a lot per se. Gonna mine at an absolute max distance. Okay. I feel like maybe there's a way that I'm gonna be more likely to know where a certain material will be.
I'm gonna need to get some of those glow things, because I have one, I guess, but we're gonna want to get some more. Because I don't have a whole lot of torches. Oh, that doesn't... I wish that stacked, right? Like, if you have six, I wish you could just eat six. And then it'd be good for 12, 12 minutes, right? I think that'd be nice. There's just little things here and there. I, I, I'm enjoying the game, though. Like, I think it's a good formula, a good format. And I think that there's a lot here to like as well. And the things that are frustrating and weird, like the audio balance and, like, the explosion thing, these are all things that are so easily changed and not that, like, they are things I need to... I see what it is. I saw what the thing is that indicates it, and it's not enough. It's not enough. That's not... It's... It looks too much like a wall that you've hit once. It looks way too close to a wall that you've hit once. At the very least, it needs to be less frequent. <laughs> Bare minimum. Like, or it looks like, um, looks like coal. It needs to have some kind of like diff, like much different tint to it than anything that exists. In my opinion. For it to be a fun addition to the game. Cut. Okay. And more of that. I can't get that. What, maybe Amethyst? I mean, this Warhammer is disgusting. I've got none of my missions done yet. I got all of my missions started. Dude, if I needed to kill these guys, I'd be... Done ages ago. All right. Keep the eyes out. God, there's so much of this. I'm going to be swimming in it when I get back, but... Do that. This takes more to uh, to dig through. I mean, but for the sake of curiosity, maybe since it's tougher to dig through, it's more likely to have the stuff I want. Now, yeah, this is just more of the same. More of the same. Out we go. Let's get a little bit more of the light stuff. Didn't have anything. Super strong. More praise helix. Explore. Come on now. I feel like I don't need any more of this iron or whatever. Ugh. Come on. If there's some kind of, I don't know, what if there's like some kind of roguelike -y upgrade? And maybe there is. There probably is. That makes you more likely to find a certain thing or like points you in the direction of a certain type of material. That'd be cool. Oh god, is that a medium slime? Could I have... Okay, good. Now we got the escape pod. Should I push my luck and, uh, and keep going? I am a dwarf. I, uh, you know, I do dig greedily and deep. It's kind of, uh, comes with the territory. Thank you. I'm glad we did not immediately leave. This will be it. We got everything. Good deal. Don't dig anymore, because we might... randomly explode. So is it already there? Ah, it's Deep Rock Galactic. I mean... Oh, God. 
Oh. Okay. It's a large sum of enemies at once. Kill the man with the crossbow. Oh my god. I... I mean, we're gonna give it a shot, but... This is absurd. I... One hit and you're probably gonna take some more, you know? I'm stuck on a freaking javelin? Why does the javelin have a hitbox? I'm not gonna make it out of here, man. I know that the percentage is going down, but we obviously, like, we just need to... To lure everybody out of there, get back in there. Just keep on swinging towards some javelins. Also, a little marker that notifies where enemies are going to spawn instead of them just kind of like popping up randomly. These are all like, to be clear, it's it may sound like a lot of things that I'm bringing up, but they're all just like quality of life things for the most part. Ow! Oh my god! They're all quality of life things that that need to be fixed before. Well, some of them need to be fixed before release, and some of them are opinions. Um, well, I mean, it's all opinions, but you know what I mean. Some of them are like nobody likes having their ears pierced. You know, like that, like the sound stuff that should be fixed up. It's kind of strange how balanced, like how the audio is balanced. Things like the exploding walls that look just like coal walls or partially mined walls need to be a little bit more obvious because of how devastating they are and how much a it's like what if what if there was a block in minecraft that looked like the coal block but exploded like a creeper and it might be mixed in with the coal it's just annoying that it's just all it is is annoying congratulations thank you congratulations to you <laughs> Congratulations to you as well. Um, so, like, in my opinion, I think some quality of life of making that a little bit more obvious or having a little bit more of a delay, that would probably be the better way. Like, a little bit more of a delay before it explodes would probably be appreciated by many. Um, other than that, like, some of the things with, like, some of the hitboxes are a little bit, a little bit goofy. Um, and, you know, a couple things with moving things from the backpack, making you fire or maybe place torches when you don't want to. That like, it's all just little changes and that's it. Those are the things that bother me. The core concept, I really like it. The The visuals to it, I think are quite nice. I think that the music and the sound effects are good. They're just at the wrong volumes. And I think that the, I think, I think that the loop is gonna be very appealing to many people. It's kind of got this like, tarkov -y, kind of like this uh, extraction shooter, Minecraft-y sort of mix to it that I think people are going to really, really like. I think that I, I just really want the devs to go into the release with the best shot. So that's why I mentioned all the things I mentioned. None of them make this a game that I wouldn't recommend, to be clear. It's just a recommendation with those caveats because I actually really like this demo and I think you should play it. Uh, just you know that it's you're gonna have to have some things be really quiet. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna have your ears shattered. Maybe they weren't too loud for you, but know that they're, it's twice as loud in my ears as it was for you guys. So, um, alas, alas, that is that. That is gonna do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.